Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fire Sign Tarot. If you're new to our little channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. It has come time for the weekend top and bottom reading. Just a little sneak peek of what energies might be influencing or disrupting your life this weekend, however you want to look at it. I like to look at it as more of an influence. Okay, we're going to go through this by the elements, so it's important to know what element your zodiac sign falls under. Fire, earth, air, water. So fire signs are Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Earth is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Air is Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Water is Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. These will be general. If they resonate with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to the cards if you choose to do anything at all. It is your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. Please keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid, and all things can be vice versa if it's not resonating with you. And it, it may not resonate with your sun sign, so if you feel so inclined, I'm not going to twist anybody's arm. I'm just trying to make your life easier. Watch through the end. Check your moon rising or Venus sign reading. Because they oftentimes influence you more than your sun sign. Depending on what time of year it is. All that happy jazz. Anywho. We're going to start out with fire. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Alright. more shuffles. As you guys can see, I got some different decks out of the box because the decks I was using were kind of getting a little tired. I kind of even the energies out a little bit amongst the decks here. I think here within the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be straight up busting some decks out of the box that I haven't played with in a while. I have some pretty interesting ones that I very seldom play with, so... Okay, one more shuffle for my fire signs. Top of the deck, judgment. Bottom of the deck, ace of cups, well. Fire signs, we bringing something back from the dead? Or is it a new beginning in love? Hmm. Well, what does the past have to tell us? Oh my, oh my. Lover's card, Ten of Swords reversed and the Two of Cups reversed. For our fire signs. There was a deep soul connection here. Hmm. Make sure you guys can get a little bit of glare. Sorry. Ten of Swords is reversed. Lovers and a Two of Cups reversed. So, it's a deep soul connection. <sighs> Something happened. Maybe somebody had some unfinished business. Somebody had some baggage they were still carrying around. Couldn't quite close out a cycle of pain and sadness. And there was a disconnect. Okay. We're doing cocoa tonight. I needed some chocolate. Anyway, what's going on right here, right now? The world in the reverse, Four of Swords, and the Queen of Pentacles. Well, yes, unfinished business. Something's coming back around. But it's a rest moment. I think there's a lot of communication going on right now. And this Queen of Pentacles. I have to get some clarity on this. I 
someone finding their self-worth, someone figuring out their self-worth, somebody knowing they're the catch. What does the future have to hold? Three of Wands in the reverse, Seven of Swords in the reverse, Ace of Swords in the reverse. Somebody's still going to be holding back communication this weekend. Someone may be finally walking away from the dock and no longer waiting for a ship to come in. What's this Seven of Swords reversed about? Hmm. Alright, let's get some clarity real quick. Why is the Ten of Swords reversed here? Thanks. Ace of Pentacles reversed. Hmm. Okay. Fire signs. I think we finally get to talk about house plants. And what we do with them when we overwater them or don't water them enough? Something just didn't quite take off. I mean, the starter was there, and then it just didn't take off. Like I said, somebody had baggage. So things were either put on hold or just totally disconnected altogether. Why is the world reversed here for the here and now? For my fire signs. Thank you. Four of wands. Doors may be opening. This is soulmate, 1111 connection, twin flame, whatever you want, if you believe in that sort of thing. At the very least, doors are opening right now. What's four swords here? Thanks. Six of cups reversed. Somebody's going to be doing some serious thinking, contemplating. Somebody's still getting through that heartbreak. And there's some salty memories associated with this. Somebody's doing some serious chewing. Really thinking about it. Why is Queen of Pentacles here? It is freaking hailing in my ho at my house right now. Do you hear that on my roof? It is hailing. That is not rain. That is hail. Kind of a cool ambiance though, right? I know. Why is Queen of Pentacles here? Oh, I think I dropped you. We're going to try that again. Seven of Pentacles. It's cool. See how he's kind of looking at her, just waiting, like waiting for an opportunity. I think someone may be waiting for an opportunity to try to catch that catch again. I think the door is opening right now, but there's salty memories involved. There's contemplation. Why is the three of wands reversed here for the future for my fire signs? What could potentially be happening this weekend? Thanks. Five Pentacles reversed. That's interesting. For some of you, the wait might be over and someone may be coming in out of the cold. Or you may be given an opportunity to come in out of the cold. Why is the Seven of Swords reversed here? Page of Swords reversed. No communication. Hey, where'd you go?
Oh, wow. King of Pentacles popped up. What? Opportunity be knocking. Let's set that right there. It's going to be a match set here. I think somebody's finally going to take that opportunity to present that offer. This is either going to be a huge fat apology or a start over. So the Ace of Pentacles up here is in the reverse. It's like things just ground to a halt. Like the start was there, then it just didn't happen. There may be a comeback around. I'm not seeing this Ace of Cups as brand new. I'm seeing this as a do-over. Possible outcome, Ace of Swords reversed. Hmm. Okay. No communication, cutoffs in communication. This is the point where free will kind of kicks in. Come on. Five of Swords picking up pieces. Changes in communication, perhaps. Eight of Pentacles, so I'm going to be able to decide to start putting work into something or working on communication, working on picking up pieces, working on change where there hasn't been communication before. It's very interesting. All right. Top and bottom. The Hermit reversed and the Two of Pentacles reversed. Okay, here's the deal. There's still healing to be done here. And there's still some emotional juggling, hence the taking a break, chilling out because there's still salty memories involved with this right here in the middle. If you do get the communication coming in this weekend, don't rush into anything because there's still healing to be had. Okay, don't, don't drop the balls just yet. Don't even put the balls up in the air yet. You're going to one more off the top and bottom for that. Don't feel like I explained that very well. Knight of Swords reversed, Seven of Cups reversed. Okay. Miscommunications, cutoffs in communications, there's going to be confusion. Don't read too much into it and cause yourself confusion and emotional juggling. Take two more off of that. The hangman reversed and the empress reversed. Okay, well. Don't get all emotionally wound up if it doesn't happen again. That makes sense to anybody. Sometimes people come back just to kind of clear the air. And I, I, I've heard lots of people tell me that they're hearing from people right now at this point with all the chaos and craziness that's going on right now that they have not heard from in a long time. So someone may just be coming back to kind of clear the air. And make sure you're okay. Let them know that they still care. So, if you so choose, extend the olive branch back. Or slap them right in the face with, you know, whatever you want to do. Like, fire signs, it's your deal. <clears throat> Being a fire sign myself, I am not always the easiest person to get along with. And I will be the first one to admit that. I have a little bit of a spitfire side to me too. And sometimes, depending on what led to the departure, as to why we're not so communicating anymore, I get a little hot-headed when I hear from the wrong person. But it's nice to clear the air. Know what I'm saying? Okay. That's it for fire signs. Earth signs. 
I think you guys are gonna get the steampunk deck tonight. Okay. Temperance and the Four of Wands at first tried to pop out. Let's see if they pop back out in the reading. Okay. Five of Wands reversed. The world reversed. More of that unfinished business stuff. People coming back around. There may be a comeback around this weekend to try to end a conflict. Okay. Got a judgment reversed right in the middle. Ten of Cups reversed the Queen of Pentacles and Three of Pentacles. Okay. Hmm. Well. Wow. Strength, Judgment reversed, King of Cups, Knight of Swords reversed, Seven of Pentacles, and the Sun reversed. Breakdown in the family. Someone having to learn independence and stand on their own. Foundations for new things. New career, new job, possibly. That was all in the past, by the way. The present strength, judgment reversed in the King of Cups. Could be a Leo. I have two Leo cards on the board, Earth sign, so just to put that bug in your ear if it means anything to you. In communication, waiting patiently, like happiness. Okay, I'm gonna start throwing clarity on this because this is kind of making very little sense right now. I'm having, having trouble putting the pieces together. Why is the Ten of Cups reversed here for the past? Seven of Cups. There was confusion that led to a breakdown. One more. Four of Wands reversed. Pop back out. I'm not going to take these because they weren't face up and I think I dropped them. Okay. This may have been very sudden and abrupt. Slamming doors, breakdown in a family, confusion, conflict. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Thanks. The Devil reversed, the Hermit reversed, the Three of Wands reversed. Could have been a Capricorn, could have been a Virgo, could have been a fire sign. Disconnections, powerful connections. You have to learn to stand on your own. You weren't waiting for the return. You had to learn to stand on your own, disconnecting from something very toxic. Yeah, there was a lot of fighting, a lot of arguing. Probably a lot of physical slamming doors. You didn't quit. You, I don't think you ever quite healed from that. But you did learn how to stand up on your own. 
Why is three pentacles here? Ten of swords in the upright. The sun did eventually shine again. You did get through that heartbreak. The sun did shine again. You may have, you know, financially stood on your own feet, started a new job, things of that nature. Why is the strength here for the here and now for my earth signs? Star reversed. Still no healing. You may have tamed some inner beasts. I, I sense an energy of dominance, but you never healed from it. Six of Wands reversed. It's still thinking about it, still knocks the wind out of your sails. Still steals your thunder. You never quite got your thunder back. Why is judgment reversed here? Four swords. Death reversed. Oh, wow. Maybe you come back around to end conflict, seriously contemplating it. You don't think they've changed, though. I think you evolved, but they didn't. Why is the King of Cups here? Hanged man. Ten of Wands reverse Seven of Swords. They have a great deal of love for you. You probably have a great deal of emotion back for them. But there was too many secrets, too many deep, dark thoughts, this, it, and it weighs you down. Ten, is, ten of Wands reversed. It's very weighing. You accepted the fate of this already. And them coming back around, no matter how you feel, there's just an air of secrecy. I don't think you trust this person. I think they're very sneaky. I think they're possibly very manipulative, and having them around is burdensome. I think this comeback around may be taking place right now. Why is the Knight of Swords reversed here for the future? The Magician. Page of Pentacles reversed and the Eight of Swords. You're manifesting new, better things in your life. Either you're going to cut communication off or they're going to bounce just as quickly as they came back. Because this just has you emotionally all wrapped up. I think if, if, they, if they are coming back trying to throw a band-aid on this, you're going to tell them where to shove their band-aid. Because this is just going to wrap you up emotionally all over again. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Knight of Pentacles.
they may patiently just kind of wait around and take things slow. Some of you may be afraid that they're just going to bounce again. Four of Cups reversed. You are flat out ignoring what they are trying to hand you. You just keep looking down at those cups of regret and you're like, you know what? I've been through this with you once. I'm not doing it again. It's your journey. It's your free will. I'm not going to tell you how to live. I'm not going to tell you what you went through. I kind of already know what you went through. I've been through it. It sucks. It's your journey, baby. Do what you want. I'm going to take them back. Take them back. You don't. Don't. You want to tell them to take a long walk off short pier? Go for it. You want to take them back with open arms? Go for it. It's your journey. I'm a firm believer there's no such thing as mistakes. There's no such thing as mistakes. So you're just tripping on the path. You misstep, you pick up, you dust off, you move on. Why is the sun reversed here for the outcome? Hereford reversed. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. No sunshine disconnecting a blessed union. My son's being a goofball out there. I don't know if you guys can hear that. There's a lesson to be learned here. King of Pentacles reversed. Three of Cups reversed. I am not seeing you take this offer. I am not seeing this come back together. Nine of Pentacles in the upright. King of Wands reversed. You are going to rise up. And you are going to be independent and put this to a grinding halt. This is, I don't see this coming back together. I see you rejecting this offer because you are good on your own. And you don't need somebody coming in here all uppity thinking they can throw a band aid on it and make it all better. It's your journey, Earth Signs. I'm not going to tell you how to live. You know what's up. You know you. You know what's up. I'm just trying to tell you what to watch out for. So if y'all got somebody trying to creep back in, things might be coming to a head this weekend. Air signs. Uh, to the universal for you guys. This is a golden oldie. I like this one. One more for my air signs. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Six cups reversed. Six cups. I'm beginning to think I should have wrote soap operas. Just saying. Looking back on not so fond memories, a new love coming in. Let's see what that's all about. Okay, let's see what that's all about. Okay. 
Well, here's the good news. So far, there's not really very many return cards here. Except maybe the Six of Wands, but we're going to get clarity on all of this. The past, we have the Hanged Man, the Queen of Pentacles reversed, and Death reversed. And here and now, we have the Chariot in the upright, the Ten of Pentacles in the upright, the Four of Swords in the upright. The immediate future, Three of Pentacles reversed, the Six of Wands, and the Fool is the outcome. Well, hmm. Okay. Four of Wands reversed. I think doors are closing loudly and with force. Too many. Why is the hanged man here? Hi. Fair fit reversed. Break up in a Bellist Union. Accepting the fate of the situation, you broke up. Okay, why is the Queen of Pentacles reversed here? Oh, there's car alarms going on. In my neighborhood on a Thursday night, let me tell you. I think my neighbors sat on their keys again. King of Wands reversed. Someone was left with a lack of self-worth. Lost passion for something. Probably left with a lot of bad memories. Hermit showed up. Healing and to find that inner light. Two of Wands popped out, letting go. Or desperately holding out of the past, not being able to move forward. Why is death reversed here? Thank you. The devil and the two of cups reversed popped out. This may have occurred because someone couldn't change their ways. There may have been drug addiction involved. Drug addiction, alcohol, sex addiction, whatever. But this disconnect occurred and doors slammed, bad memories. Somebody had some toxic crap they had to disconnect from and they never disconnected from it. Somebody was left having to heal. All right, here and now, what's the chariot here for? Tell me about this chariot universe. What's going on with the chariot? Thank you. Six of cups. I think you've managed to distance yourself emotionally, possibly physically from this situation. Could be a cancer you're dealing with, doesn't necessarily have to be. You've trucked on, you move forward. Life's coming back into balance with the Six of Pentacles. Seven of Cups, you've managed to leave your options open. Ten of Pentacles, money in the bank, you're doing well. Bills are paid. I'm not going to throw a card on that. What's the Four of Swords for? Thank you. Seven of Wands. Taking charge. Made peace with it. One more. 
King of Swords reversed. Well, you've made peace with what happened, but you kind of got a crappy attitude about it. I don't blame you. Okay. Why is the Three of Pentacles reversed here for the future? I hate it when they go under my chair. Pardon me. Seven of Pentacles. I'm not sure if that was in the upright or the reverse when it landed. Makes more sense in the reverse. Someone ran out of patience because something isn't coming together. Get another one on that place. Too many. I don't need like five. Thank you. Four of Cups. Page of Wands. Somebody's going to come quickly and unexpectedly. Possibly try to hand you a cup. Could be a text message, could be an email, could be a phone call. Unexpected. Quick. Just kind of swooping in. Why is six wands here? Ten of swords. Ten of Cups. Oh my. <sighs> Air signs. You may have someone trying to return this weekend that you're not. Probably not the fondest of memories. And I think they're they're coming back to try to tie up some loose ends with you. This could potentially be someone who had some toxic crap going on and that's why it ended. And they see that you're doing well. This is the return card I was talking about when we laid cards down. They're coming back to tie the loose ends up, to end the cycles. They want to end their pain and yours. But the outcome's the fool. But I have an Ace of Cups up here. Why is the fool here? It landed half cockeyed, but they're coming to end the cycle. They either want to start something new with you or they want closure or they want to give you the closure they feel that you're entitled to. Somehow I see you slamming the door in their face. Possibly. I'm not going to tell you how to live or what to do. That's not why I'm here. The cards do that. 
I just have to ha interpret the cards as best I know how. Get some clarity on these guys. Knight of Cups reversed and the Eight of Wands reversed. I see you cutting this off at the pass. Had a dropper. I'm going to put it back in. I'm not even going to look at it. Okay, I'm going to look at it. It's the star card. You know what? This belongs here. So we're going to leave it. It's the star illuminating the path, walking out of the fire of hell. This was not a fun time for either of you. All right. Page Cups. It's a cute little offer. It's a small one. All right, let's just get your advice, air signs, because this is, whew. Three of cups and five of pentacles reversed. Reuniting and coming in out of the cold. Okay. Even if you decide not to get back together with this, if it was a romantic situation, I mean, it could just be friends. It could just be just two friends reconnecting after some serious crap that went down. You can at least come to a point of being cordial. Even if you're not, you know, throwing back drinks like it's good old times. Being cordial might be appropriate. The King of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles reversed. Don't juggle any kind of emotions over this or get so tied up in emotions until you know if the offer is the real deal or not. They could just be coming back because they see that you're doing well. They could well be an opportunist. So, before you read too much into it, get all the details. My dear air sign friends. I knew I had, yeah, had to pull two more. The moon and the three of swords reversed. You may not have been meant to know why hearts got broken. I'm hearing, don't ask why because it was just part of the journey. And if that heartbreak illuminated a few steps on your path and helped you realize some things about yourself, that's a beautiful thing. Okay, on to my water signs. I don't know why the weekend ones are so long. Pulling so much energy for just a couple of days. Okay, water signs. You guys get the antique anatomy tarot tonight. This is probably the most beautiful, can you guys read that? The most beautiful deck I've ever worked with. It is so cool, oh my gosh. Of course, I'm into science and history and stuff, so. My friends tell me all the time I should have been a doctor. One of my friends at work came up to me today and said, What's this rash on my arm? I'm like, I don't know. I'm not a nurse. Does it itch? <laughs> I thought it was funny. Okay, anyway. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. And get your cards on the table and 
I think we're going to call it a weekend top and bottom reading. One more. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Top. Ten of Pentacles reversed. Chariot reversed. Oh, man. Money troubles are being pulled in two different directions. Possible return. Happened in the past. Another judgment card, really? Really? The devil reversed judgment and the ace of cups. The hermit reversed. Six of rods and the ace of pentacles reversed. Two of cups reversed. Knight of wands. The moon reversed. Well, I'll be damned. Okay. Gave me three without intention. King of rods. Nine of pentacles reversed. Six of cups reversed. Six of elixirs. The elixirs are the cups. These are so cool. If you ever get a chance to check these out, do it. They're amazing. <sighs> Conflict. Kind of a hell bent attitude. person may have been a little bit clingy and overbearing, maybe possibly codependent and left a salty taste in your mouth. What is it with, is this like a comeback weekend or what? Maybe it's that leftover full moon energy, I don't know. Why is the devil reversed here? I'm not taking five cards. Why is the devil reversed here? Thank you. Two rods reversed. Obsessive behavior, unable to let go. Someone's unable to let go and they obsessed about it. Unable to move forward. Possibly the codependent person that was living with not so fond memories. Why is judgment here? I don't want like seven cards. Why is judgment here? I'll take two. Or three, the hanged man, the hierophant, and the high priestess reversed. Cut off some cute. Okay, one more on that, because that's not making sense. I hate it when it doesn't make sense right away. I don't want to put like 20 cards on it. King of Cups.
think you had a great deal of love for this person. You possibly wanted to marry this person. Maybe you were engaged. But I think this person had a huge ego problem. <laughs> one or the other was extremely hung up on the other one. Why is the Page of Cups here? I need 20 cards. All right, which one went flying off the damn table? Seven of Cups, someone left their options open. Nine of Swords. Somebody was like batshit crazy. Pardon my French. Bat poop bonkers. This is like weird. This just got weird water signs. I don't know. I, I, I don't know if this is you or the other person. But somebody has some serious obsessive behaviors going on here. Why is the Hermit reversed here for the here and now? It's like four cards. I'm not going to take it. Let's see if one of them comes back out. Thank you. Ace of Wands reversed. No forward movement, but there's no healing either. This is failure to introspect and figure out what happened from within. That's almost like blaming the other person. Knight of Pentacles reversed. Yeah. Not giving any apologies. Why is the Seven of Wands here? I'm not taking like... Okay, I'll take three. Knight of Cups reversed. Five of Cups reversed and the Three of Cups. They, they may try to end conflict with you. Try to come in out of the cold. They're going to attempt to reunite with you. This is like in progress. I think they've been talking. They've been communicating, possibly through other people. They want a reunion. They want to come in out of the cold. They want to take control back of the situation. I think they had control over you. Somebody in this was extremely controlling. Page of Rods reversed on top of the Ace of Pentacles. The Magician and the King of Pentacles popped out. I think they're, yeah, <laughs> they're going to try to come back and you're going to be like, I'm not having this. They're trying to manipulate the situation. I 
You think you're going to reject the offer? Why is two cups reversed here? Water signs. What have you gotten into? Wow. like four cards here now. I don't think I'm going to play with this deck again. Cards are very thin and they like to stick together. Ace of Swords, Upper Wheel of Fortune reversed. They're going to try to come back and talk to you. Try to make that world come back around again. Try to undo a disconnect. Why is the Knight of Rods here? Four of Rods, opening the door, two of swords in the upright. Eight of Swords in the reverse. I see you acknowledging the connection for what it is. I don't see you getting all wrapped up in it. I see you definitely taking the blindfold off. They're going to try to return. Why is the moon reversed here for the outcome? Queen of Swords. In the reverse. <sighs> Off with their head! You are not going to have the greatest ad attitudes about this at all. I think you... What will be illuminated, you will see very clearly. Because you've taken that blindfold off. And you're not going to get all wrapped up in this again. You know this person is very toxic and they're very manipulative. I don't think this is the first time they've tried something like this. And I don't think you're going to deal with their clingy butt. I, I think they're going to try to come back and... Just totally train wreck all the wonderful things you have going on for you. But I do not see them as being successful. Top and bottom. Four of cups and the two of coins reverse. They're going to try to hand you something. I don't see you taking the cup. I do see you getting a little bit emotionally mixed up over this. Don't.
Eight of Pentacles reversed and the Six of Pentacles. Until they can come back with an equal give and take relationship, do not put any work into this. This will probably be the one and only time I ever say in a reading, be careful whose cup you take. Because in this instance, I don't think you know what that cup is full of. You already have three cups laying on the ground of stuff they've given you before. Do you really want the fourth one? You have to ask yourself that. Temperance and the Four of Coins. Okay. Now we're going to talk about energy flow. Until the energies in between you are positive and there's no negative thoughts or feelings there. Until everything's cordial and cool. I would not let this go. Because ultimately they want you to just let it go and forgive them. Which, it's your journey. I'm not, I'm not here to tell you what to do. I know what I wouldn't do. But I'm Big Mama Sag. And I don't put up with any crap. And a lot of that is my Scorpio Venus. I want you when I want you. When I don't want you, I don't want you. And if you give me any crap... Mm, okay. Water signs. I love you guys to bits. You know I do. I love all of my subscribers to bits. Anyone who's come, spends time with me a couple days of work, listens to me ramble, watches me lay cards down, takes the time, lets me have a good time, has a good time while I'm having a good time. Thanks again for all the blessings, you guys. It's amazing. Oh. That's an email. And that's my cue to get off of here. Because I've rambled enough this evening, I think. Okay. Um, let's see. Sunday's Easter. I will probably be recording the work week top and bottom either Saturday night when I get home. Or Monday morning. I'm not 100% sure yet. Because I will not be touching cards tomorrow. Or Sunday, in honor of Good Friday and Easter Sunday. So, I'm going to do everything I can possibly do tonight before I go to bed and Saturday night when I get home from work and probably Saturday morning before I go to work. Anywho, I'm going to shut up. I love you guys to bits. Thanks for stopping by. Like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. If you feel so inclined, I'm not going to twist your arm. Hit the notification bell if you want to know when I upload. And if you're interested in a personal reading, the information for that is down below in the description box. Thanks for coming by. Catch you next time.